Hello, welcome. We're looking at a new piece of test equipment today. It's called the Function Generator. It's on top of the oscilloscope here, on top of your screen. I'm going to quickly go through some of its features. We connect our output here, here and here. And we've got a logic output that's called TTL and two other outputs with different impedance settings. We've also got what's called a sweep input and that's used here. The purpose of a function generator is to create various waveforms that we can use for testing electronic circuits. In electronics, information is carried by waveforms and that's why they are so important. This particular circuit gives three separate waveforms. It gives a square waveform, it gives a triangular waveform and it also gives a sine wave. This dial here does the frequency so turning it clockwise makes it go faster and anti-clockwise slower and we also have some buttons along the top that do the range of frequency starting at 1 and going up in tens. So we got 1, 10, 100, 1000. You get the idea? This is called symmetry. This is a symmetry button. You won't really use that very much at this level. Amplitude is how big the waveform is remember. And we've also got something here called the DC offset. These buttons here determine which particular waveform we're going to be looking at. And this is what's known as the attenuator. This attenuates the output for use with different circuits. So attenuation means to make something smaller. It starts at 0 dB decibels, goes to minus 20 decibels, and then to minus 40 decibels. Anyway, let's crack on. First thing that's happened is I've connected a BNC connect probe to that output there and the same things happen with the oscilloscope here and to get a reading they're connected together there. I'm showing you the frequency range and by changing it how I can make it go slower and how I can make it go faster. And the buttons at the top change the frequency, as you will see, till it goes much, much faster. And of course, our oscilloscope is not giving a, a good reading now. So what we would need to do is change the time base here. And I would just adjust the time base. Until we get something that we can actually read. You could also hit the auto set button here, but it doesn't always work. It's better, in my view, to be able to use the controls as they were meant to be used. And you can change it to an area where you, you think you can read it and it's useful. Now I'm showing you the triangle waveform and the square waveform. And once again, you can adjust the time base as required. These are the attenuation buttons at the top. So we see by pressing the attenuator here to 0 dB, the waveform becomes much larger. So this time we have to adjust the amplitude per division to get a good reading on the oscilloscope. Finally, we have the DC offset. And that's used for mixing up DC with AC for use in various circuit tests. Hope this has helped. Goodbye, good luck, until the next time.